that's right, six more added to the family. We're gonna get this thing started right away. I can't do a long video. Well, who am I fooling, man? Y'all know me. I start to ramble off and here we into 20 minutes. But anyway, stay right there. We're gonna go through these six. Back to doing another video. Sam Broom. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back and getting another video. Listen, six more added to the family. Six more. But before we get into that, y'all know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. You ain't gotta pay for nothing. Like, comment, subscribe. That's all. Hit that little red button down at the bottom, man. Subscribe to the family. Cause that's what this is, it's a family. You're always coming back. I'm always trying to put out content for you guys. Last week was kinda like a little hiccup. You know, I had to get my body back adjusted to, you know, getting back to the East Coast from the West Coast. So I'm back though, but listen. I need you to like, comment, subscribe. That's all I ask you to do. All right? Now, let's get into the six. First up, man, listen. This was a needle in a haystack. Can't really find them too much. I actually was on eBay yesterday, and on eBay, a 100 mil bottle was going for like 200 bucks, or somewhere close to it, like 174, 200 bucks, and I didn't understand why until I went to the store recently and I sprayed something on, I sprayed something on and I I kept it quiet though. I didn't want to let them know how bad I wanted it. And I didn't tell them that it was discontinued because what I did was I sprayed the tester bottle that he had and I'm gonna try to go back. I'm gonna try to go back and see if I can get that tester bottle. I sprayed the tester bottle on my wrist and it smells so damn good. I had to get it from the house of Fat Farm. And this is Atman. Look how I'm holding the box, all right? Cause you know why? Cause check that out, look at that. There's two of them, all right? One of them had the signature of Russell Simmons on the front, which is this one. And then the other one don't, all right? So I think this is the older, mo this is the older box, or this is the newer box and this is the older box, all right? But anyway, Atman, Spirit of Men. Spirit of Man, hell of a scent, man. Great man scent. I'm telling you, it smells really, really good. I remember spraying this years and years ago on, and um, I just never bought a, bought into it. I, I guess I was kind of like looking at it as some type of gimmicky type, you know, type of money grab or some type of gimmick from one of the um, houses that I look up to. Celeb basically like a celebrity fragrance. And we all know how celebrity fragrances are, but I, just didn't decide not well I just decided not to get it and I regret it because now it's hard to get because I think I probably would have used this as a signature scent at some point but anyway major notes you got some bergamot you got caraway you got lavender you got sage you got sandalwood and you also have like suede or something and that's just some of the notes not all of them some of them all right Oh yeah, this is good. This is good. I think I should have showed you the presentation, man. All right, so here's the bottle here. All right, this is a, a 1.7 ounce bottle. Comes in this box again, as I showed you before. Comes in this box. All right, so nothing spectacular. Simple, simple bottle. Has this, this cap that has like a velvet little strap going around the mid section of it. All right, got nice brown juice. This juice is kind of like the same color as um, I think it's Dunhill Man, same type of juice, that color, that amber looking color, light amber color. But the fragrance again, amazing, amazing fragrance. Again, this is one of those fragrances that's gonna set you apart from um, a man or a woman fragrance. This is definitely a man's fragrance, all right? Fat Farm, at man. It's gonna get some work. This is definitely getting some work, all right? I might not keep one of the bottles. I might get rid of it. Who knows, all right? If you're interested, 
hit me up in the comment section and uh, we can work out a deal. All right, work out a deal. All right, that was Atman. Next one from the house of Kenzo. This says Kenzo Ohm, and this is the EDP. All right, listen, my dog is bugging out because he want to get out of his cage. I'm not letting him out of his cage right now. So excuse the noise in the background. That's just him being a baby. But anyway, this is Kenzo Ohm, and this is the EDP. This one here has some similarities to, I believe, like uh, Invictus Aqua. I think that's what it's sort of similar to. I mean, you're looking at C notes. You're looking at C notes. You're looking at mint, some citruses. Oh yeah, this is definitely in that same ballpark. Oh, this is nice. So you're looking at C notes, mint, some citruses, sage, got that sweetness to it, like the Invictus Aqua. This is nice, man. This is nice. Let me show you the bottle. Got that bamboo look that Kenzo Ohms normally have. All right. That gradient look at the maybe that dark or, or cobalt blue going from the top and then it clears up at the bottom. Got that leaf there. All right. But it's supposed to be shaped like a bamboo. But the fragrance, let's go. The fragrance itself is so good, man. It's a woody aquatic. Woody aquatic. Very nice scent. Very nice scent. Kenzo Ohm EDP. This is a great scent, man. Get your nose on it very affordable as well very very affordable the next one we're going with i had to get this because they're changing the bottle style but i don't trust it i think they're going to actually change the fragrance itself so this is by valentino this is valentino um coffee nut uh nutmeg it has like um hazelnut it has chocolate it has leather um, this is a great scent. I, I I was rocking this scent for a while, but off the the carded samples. I had a ton of carded samples that I got from like Nordstrom's. Every time I visit, I would get a carded sample of uh, this particular fragrance, and I wore the hell out of it. But I'm out of them now. I think I'm down to like my last one. But uh, I had to get it. But here's the box. Valentino Umo has the Valentino and gold. And Uma at the bottom with this black little paper plaque here. All right. Got the barcode and the batch code at the bottom there. But again, they're changing the bottle styles of these to go like the ones that like the Born Aroma, the, uh, the yellow, whatever that one is with the little studded mid section. But um, I'm not sure if they're going to change the fragrance. So I had to get this one just to make sure that I kept it original. Here you go, here's that bottle here, and here, there you go. There's that, that atomizer that's actually built into the top. And this is just a security so that way you won't spray it accidentally, all right? But it has that pineapple type of that studded feel to it with the plaque, that Valentino Umo plaque there. All right, let's get into it. Ah, oh, that, that Kenzo Ohm is dope, man. Nice atomizer. Oh yeah, man, I love the scent. This is gonna be a nice fall fragrance too. But again, you're getting that chocolate and that hazelnut. It's creamy, it's leathery. You get the coffee, the hint of the coffee, and it's also woody at the top. But this is a leather fragrance, man. Up and down. Valentino Umo. Get this for like 97 bucks at like Nordstrom's or somewhere like that. Um, or if you go, if you got like a local uh, fragrance shop around you somewhere, I'm pretty sure you probably get it cheaper than that. But this is Valentino Umo, the original. I do have the extreme, the or the intense, and I also have the absolute as well as the aqua. So this is definitely the one that finished off the line. I don't have that born in Roma stuff. I'm not too much of a fan of that, but hopefully one day I might just pull a trigger on those two and keep the line going. But anyway. Valentino Umo from Nordstrom's. Going with this next one here, this one is um, a blind buy as a tester for a great price from uh, fragrancebuy.ca. I had to pull the trigger. And this is uh, Brioni, and this is Brioni um, EDP, all right? This is a tester box as well, but look at the box. Very nice box. This box is also like the, um, let me see, Keaton box was just like just the same, it had that 
the bar, the um, the black lining or the black outline, and then it almost like a frame, and then it has the blue inside, but the the key in was red. It was red with the black outline. So it's the blue one with the uh, with the uh, you got that little plaque there, that Bioni plaque. It's like a it feels like a label from a clothing from clothing, like the inside of a suit. That's what that feels like. That there you got the Bioni at the top. All right. And for some reason, it has Lalique at the bottom. Lalique Brody. Lalique might be the one making the bottle for these companies because Lalique is a um, known for like their glass work. So they might be the ones that are actually making the bottle for this. But again, Brioni EDP. Let's look at the bottle. There's the bottle there. Again, there's that that cloth label that's normally in the inside of a of a um, sport jacket, right there. All right, nice navy blue bottle. That. We only cap at the top. The bottom got the barcode. Again, this is a tester bottle, but just like full presentation. All right. There's an atomizer, gold atomizer with the black dot, so you can know exactly where it's at. So you don't spray yourself in the face. There's a sprayer right there. Nice little, almost like a controlled spray. Yeah, very nice. Oh, this is nice, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what this is about. All right. Spraying it. Oh yeah, this is nice. This is really, really nice and elegant. Violet, some bergamot or something like that at the top. Or some type of citrus. Or apple, it's like an apple at the top, it's sweet. Violet, of course. It's very, very airy, ozonic, like. Um, Embroxin is in this as well. You can smell that. You definitely get that in Embroxin. Embroxin. This is nice. Classy. Very, very classy. Man, this is nice. Brioni. I kind of got lost, man. Put the bottle down. I didn't even show you the bottle, but this is this is super nice. Ah, oh, that's gonna get some nice work, man. Brioni, EDP from the house of Trasati, and this is um, Leviera line. This is the one with the the um, greyhound head. So with the greyhound head, there you go. There's the bottle right there. Got the little paper plate to it. There's the greyhound head there. All right, really edgy too on that. This is nice, black and gold. Pretty much like the same as the um, um, Umo, and then the, the black extreme nice bottle all right this was a tester bottle as well see it right there it says not for sale but this is uh just this is Trasati's Umo Leviera collection this is an EDP concentration as well very very nice very nice bottle let's see what it smells like there's an atomizer there let's see how it sprays it sprays nice juice all right oh nice it's leathery you used to get that leathery right at the top it's it starts off with like a like the bergamot or or grapefruit at the top or lemon then it rounds down and start giving you like a sage or lavender or ve or, or violet leaf ah oh, damn this is good this is well blended too super well blended oh man god damn mm 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 I'm gonna get a second bottle of this. Oh man, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, I like this. Damn, this is signature scent right here. This is signature scent worthy, period. Damn, this is a boss scent. You wear this around people, I'm telling you, man. They're gonna think you, you important people. Oh, damn, all right, I gotta, all right. Trasati, Umo, Laviera line. Or collection and I'm probably saying it wrong of course but you know you get the gist I'll put the uh, the name down in the description all right next one and lastly the hottest fragrance on the market right now the hottest fragrance on the market right now let's go right into it I'm talking about Dior Sauvage Elixir all right Quick story, I returned this. This is like my third bottle. I returned both one, I returned two. 
before I got this one. And the only reason why I got this one is because it went on sale. It went on sale at Macy's with 15% off. That's the reason why I repurchased it. It was cheap, all right? Dior Sauvage Elixir. All right, there you go, Dior Sauvage. There's the box there, all right? Got the batch code and the ingredients and stuff at the bottom. And it opens up from the top. Let's pull it up from the top and it sits right inside, all right? It sits nice and snug inside there too, all right? But there it is. Now, I have two carded samples of this fragrance right here that I got from Nordstrom down in Las Vegas, Nevada. But anyway, Dior Sauvage sits in there like that. Pull it out the top. There's a bottle. The bottle's like a navy, like a dark navy blue. All right, Dior Sauvage. And this is a two ounce bottle. I know it's kind of expensive for a two ounce bottle, but this is a two ounce bottle. All right, but this is this is what it's about. So let's get this get this on the card. Now I'm gonna put this on the thicker side just so that I can really get a uh, sense of what it smells like. I mean, I smelled it before, but I want to give you another another taste of it. So you're getting that citrus at the top. You're getting that citrus at the top. Where it's coming from, I don't know. You're getting lavender. You're getting cinnamon, some type of spice or mm, nutmeg or something. This is so freaking nice, man. Yo, Chanel, Dior kicking your ass right now. You coming with it or what? This is this is where it's at right now, man. This is definitely niche quality. This is in that niche ballpark, man. Damn, it's good. Oh. This is winter date night all day long. Mm, so good. So good. Dior Elixir. Oh, man. Damn, that's good. Well, anyway, that was my haul. Let me put this back. All right. Before I go, though, I want to tell you about a little something, all right? A lot of times we can't afford to buy fragrances at a retail price. We can't afford it. But you want the fragrance, so why not buy a decant? So if you're gonna buy a decant, I suggest you check out my man at NorCal Sense. My man at NorCal Sense, all right? He got great prices, he got great juices, like pretty much everything that you want or need, he have it, all right? He was, he was kind enough to send me like five or six. He gave me like a $30 voucher or something and I was able to splurge and um, try out some new stuff before I actually buy. This is a good way to do that. So if you don't want to blind buy something, check out somebody like NorCal Sense. And I'm not saying go to go directly to him, but it would be nice if you do support my man. He's a very nice guy. Um, check him out. See what he got. See if he got something that you're looking for. Try it out. And then that way, if you want a full bottle, go ahead and buy the full bottle after you didn't try it already. It ain't going to cost you that much. All right. NorCal Sense. He's out of California. He gets you your stuff ASAP. You can check him out or, or, or reach him on Facebook, Instagram, you name it. He's he's got it. Check him out. No cow sense. But anyway, Sam Broom signing off. Peace. Back to doing another video.